Okay, man, welcome, man, welcome once again. This is your man from the Forex Strategy Factory, man, giving you this video as usual, man. You know, this video is also to, to solve a problem of some, I don't know, I think, maybe newbie, beginner trader, man, you know what I mean. Yeah. So glad I can sit down here and solve your problem because whatever you pass in through is what I pass through during my journey of forex. You understand? Now, somebody said to me, he said, why he put the trade on, he went to sleep in the night in his own country, time frame, time zone. He went to sleep. As I woke up in the morning, he saw that, oh, uh, the price has gone to knock the stop loss out. And he looked at the trade and the signal perfectly. He realized that the signal that is given is exactly where the price is going. But unfortunately, he had been knocked out. Now, I said to him, I said, okay, okay, I'm going to, I'm not going to let you see it as if the price has gone to knock you out. I'm going to let you see what is the next thing to do when this happens again. And I'm going to tell you the reason why the price had to go knock you out. Because if you don't know the reason for anything, you will never know how to expect it and avoid it when it happens again. Alright. You know, we don't want to trade blindly. We don't want to trade without awareness. We want to be aware of everything that's going to be happening. If you are aware, then there's nothing going to be strange. Let us go. I'm going to dive down to the one hour time frame. Boom. I'm using this EUR card also, for example. And this EUR card, I see it as a potential opportunity. That's why we trade it while it was going up and we're trading it while it's going down. As you can see on my screen, it's sell, sell, sell. All right. All right. So now, <clears throat> to answer your question, there are two types of trader in this Forex market. Those ones who know what they are doing, all right, and who take advantage when the market pull back against them, they take advantage to re-enter because they know where the market is going. And there are some traders, second part of the traders are those ones who really sit in front of the chart, but they don't really know what is going on. Now, now this video is to help you open your eyes and give you a knowledge of how you can transcend from that type of trader who sit in front of the chart who don't know what he's doing and be that one who take the advantage of the negative side of the market to favor yourself. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to put a, a gauge, a barricade, a, a kind of, a kind of um, <clears throat> let's say, Bollinger Band here because I know most of these new beginner traders you used to Bollinger Band, all right? Great, 100 period Bollinger Band, all right? I'm not using the 100 period moving average. I use the Bollinger Band 100 period to show you where is the market going. This market is going down. Now, look, <clears throat> why the price went to knock you out, okay? When I give you the signal, I gave you a signal from this zone here. We are touching, right? Great. Why did I give you this signal? Because I've seen it that, okay, market is going to turn around. Market is going to turn around. I've seen those signs that I used to see to say market is going to turn around. That is why we exit all our buy and we change into sell. That's why we're selling. Market is going to turn around. And what happened to you, all right? where market pull and pull against you i went to knock your stop loss now <clears throat> i don't know if the stop loss i use is what you use but there are different factors that makes the market go hit your stop loss number one when i give you signal one just try to understand that it is direction signal i gave to you then secondly you should always expect that okay oh what about if market knocks me out and go and hit my stop loss? Now, this is what we want to treat. But before we do that, I'm going to tell you why market would go hit your stop loss and knock you out of the trade. Now, 
when I give you a cell from here, and maybe a candlestick right here knock you out. You see, what you should do is to take advantage of this candlestick and re-enter into that trend again. Because the idea behind this is that you have been given a direction signal. And what happened is that maybe a candlestick went to knock you out. Now, you need to see that candlestick as opportunity to re-enter. Do not see that candlestick as a kind of, um, okay, why did this go and knock me out? Don't see it that way. See it as a big opportunity to re-enter. Okay? And why would you like to see it like that? You want to think this way. This is the way I used to think. If a candlestick has gone to knock me out, I will think, okay, that may be the last candle and the change of trend will happen. Then I will re-enter through that candle. This is a one hour time frame that you have one hour to make your decision. Okay, now see. If you have been knocked out from here, hmm? And let's say you, you, you wait and use something around here to re-enter. Then, this candle here can never go and knock your stop loss. But look, this big candle that pulled down big time will have given you a lot of profit. The reason why you've been knocked out is because, you know, market wants to turn around. The price wants to change direction. During this period, there will be a lot of jumping candlesticks. Jumping. It will be jumping because it needs a force to change direction. Okay, that is that. Secondly, you're going to see your broker. Your broker will stand in there waiting for scapegoats to try to manipulate and, and knock you out by themselves with their own uh, bid price let me show you something properties of my chart i go and let me show you let me go and put the show uh, object description show volume show previous operator show axe <laughs> show axe line this is axe not bid that is the price of your broker this red one show ask is called ask ask price this is this is your own price. This 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 white one is your price. Your broker price is the red one here. Now, you see, your broker will use this red one while it was trying to, you know, the price is trying to drag, drag and, and you know, change the trend. A lot of um, jumping will happen in the forex market. Your broker's price will be heading up while your price will be going down. So your broker price might have gone to knock <laughs> to knock your stop loss. Yes. Because they understand the fact that there is a logic behind Forex that okay. A lot of people they don't know where to have a good entry. Okay. A lot of people confused. So those type of people are the ones that broker will go and hunt. So why you went to sleep? Your broker hunt you. Or maybe you even use a tight stop loss because I don't believe it's my stop loss you use. If you use my stop loss, my stop loss are always placed in the strategic places. So I wouldn't say you use my stop loss, but I guess you use a tight, tiny stop loss. That is why the broker price got to your, to your, to your stop, to your stop loss. Now this is why I do educate people. I say, look, if you cannot be thinking of at least a 100 pips stop loss just forget it because you are playing with your account that's it you are playing with your account look at my entry here for sale eh? and this price also went against me too right but because i know the fact that yes it will it will pull down i know it will pull down then my stop loss look when you look at my chart you cannot even see my stop loss around anywhere here. You can see it, right? Because what? Because
because I know what is going on. Because I know what is going on. Because I know if you put your stop loss around the price, my friend, there's every tendency of that thing going to knock you out. And then, who is losing? It's you. Because you don't want to lose. You are not used to losing. That is why you use a tight stop loss. And that is why your broker went for it. Okay? Because when you get a signal, a good perfect signal, definitely you're supposed to understand that. Follow instruction. Use the stop loss. Exactly how it's given to you. They are placed on strategic places. Okay? The market will do what it has to do. It will turn around. This is it. You see? So, now, let me tell you something. Um, if this happens to be your stop loss and then this candlestick knock you out and this is your entry let's say example this candlestick knock you out then what you do hmm, because you have a good direction signal which is a kind of um uh, information given to you that that is where the price is gonna go now you will use this candlestick to re-enter then your stop loss will be up, would have been above the Bollinger Band if that is how you want to play it. But if you play in a 100 pips stop loss, then it should be far, far away from the Bollinger Band. Then, when you have done that, look at last the candlesticks went down because that is where the market want to go. Okay. I realize the reason why some people they, 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 they fall into the situation of price came to hit my stop loss. This and this. But I say, me that I gave you the signal why price didn't hit my stop loss. Because you are not trading exactly the way I told you. Being scared. You scared. You wanna hold things to yourself, you wanna hold your money, you you don't really wanna realize that okay, um this this signal that is given to me is given to me on a strategic part, uh, uh, aspect of the market and that stop loss must have been placed on a strategic level in the market but because you you so bind with the uh, <coughs> mediocre mediocre kind of thinking that okay i don't want to lose i don't want to lose you take your stop loss you make it tight and you don't even know the candlestick is coming there to come and knock you out I want to beg, want to beg you people in my group, some new beginners, please, when I give you signal, understand its direction signal and do the same. Trade it exactly the way I told you. I used to be a beginner like you before. Yes, I play with the same mentality that price has knocked my stop loss out a lot of times. At that point, I was always afraid of using a 100 pip stop loss. You see, until I realized that look when you have a good entry and you know where the market is going carry your stop loss make it 100 pips when the price has given you profit you lock your break even you lose nothing this is how to think in the forex market but if you cannot change the thinking like okay i wanna i wanna i, I don't wanna lose i wanna make my stop loss tight look i'm telling you that is where i was coming from it never pays it doesn't pay it's like you you, you 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 are holding the price by the neck and you are saying price don't move that's what you say but price will move so i hope this video helps i hope it has opened your eyes about what to do when that happens next time um it's been a long video thank you so much for watching bye